This is CNN Breaking News. Hello, I'm Linda Kincaid at CNN's World Headquarters in Atlanta with the latest developments on the breaking news this hour. Buckingham Palace says Queen Elizabeth doctors are concerned for the monarch's health. The Queen is currently at Balmoral Castle, her estate in Scotland. Her eldest son Charles is now there with his wife Camilla. The government and the Church of England all announcing that they are praying for Queen Elizabeth II. The 96-year-old's palace staff says the Queen's doctors have, quote, recommended she remain under medical supervision. Well, I want to get this, the latest right now. Our Anna Stewart is standing by for us at Buckingham Palace. Uh, Anna, you've been at Buckingham Palace where we first learnt uh, about the Queen being under medical supervision at her, her Balmoral home. Uh, what else are you hearing about the Queen's condition? So this was about three hours ago where we had that initial quite short statement from Buckingham Palace. But if we can bring that up for our viewers, I think they'll see why it's caused such deep concern. It said that following further evaluation this morning, and this is following the Queen cancelling a Zoom uh, meeting yesterday, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under me medical supervision. They say the Queen remains comfortable, and as we know, she is at Balmoral. I think it was the fact that doctors are concerned that particularly struck people uh, here in the UK and then of course the news that her children but also her grandchildren Prince William and Prince Harry were all on their way to Balmoral and now we know that Prince Charles and his wife Camilla the Duchess of Cornwall are there with her um, I think generally we know that the Queen being 96 years old does have some health issues we've been told many times about the episodic mobility issues that have caused some concern over the last year she spent a night in hospital uh, last October for undisclosed testing but normally I would say the palace steer us away from being overly concerned if she does miss an event. So this is why I think this statement has caused such concern to the point that British outlets are on rolling coverage of this news. And I'm not sure if you can see Linda, but I'm outside Buckingham Palace. And even though, of course, the Queen isn't here, she's at Balmoral, I can start to see crowds of people have been forming over the last three hours. Linda? Yeah, it's certainly, despite the fact we've spoken about the Queen's health many times, over the last uh, nine or ten months, this does seem very different given that her family are now arriving at her Balmoral home. I understand all her children are now there, including uh, her grandson, uh, William. Uh, in terms of, of what we've seen in the last few, few days, uh, we saw the Queen uh, just a few days ago, just Tuesday, meeting the incoming Prime Minister and, of course, mm. the outgoing Prime Minister. And, and in those images we saw, she, she did look quite well, uh, but last night she did cancel an event, a virtual event, unexpectedly. Yes, now Her Majesty the Queen normally appoints the next Prime Minister, and let me tell you, this was her 15th um, here at Buckingham Palace, and that was actually the expectation on the appointment of a, of a new Prime Minister, but we were then told that actually Her Majesty, uh, after some discussions with her doctors, was going to stay at Balmoral. So actually the outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson travelled to Scotland, as did the incoming Prime Minister Liz Truss. But as you say, the pictures of her there, she looked radiant and as ever uh, welcoming her next Prime Minister to the role. But it was actually yesterday, the following day, when we were expecting her to do a Privy Council meeting via Zoom, because, of course, she couldn't leave Balmoral at this stage. And that was another part of the process, really, of appointing a new Prime Minister and new Cabinet Ministers. But that Zoom call was cancelled last night. And I think that caused a lot of concern, given the fact that it was Zoom and had minimal physical assertion, I would suppose, for episodic mobility issues. So that is why the statement this morning says it's further, it's further, sorry, following further evaluation from doctors. And that is why we've almost had an update. And this is very unlike the palace. They've made so clear so many times before they will not give a running commentary on Her Majesty's health. But clearly, they're very happy to share lots of information with us at this stage, including the fact that close family members are traveling to Scotland to be with her. And I understand uh, Prince Harry is also in the country, uh, along with his wife, Meghan. Uh, they, of course, uh, left their royal duties behind and moved to California, but they're, they're in the country, and I understand they, too, are headed to Balmoral. That is what we have heard from Prince Harry's um, press team, that he and... Uh, Meghan the Duchess of Sussex are on their way. They were actually in the UK for events and Europe. They were in Dusseldorf, I believe, a couple of days ago. So they are in Europe, which of course helps. But they weren't actually due to meet with Her Majesty the Queen. There was a lot of speculation in the tabloids as to why that would be, uh, perhaps not to distract from the working uh, members of the royal family and all that they are doing right now. But now we are told that Prince Harry and Meghan are traveling to Scotland. So again, that's another piece of information 
I think that is causing additional concern at this stage. Linda? All right, Anna Stewart for us outside Buckingham Palace. Uh, we will uh, speak to you again very soon. Thanks very much.